Hey, this is Stu. Today I want to show you a little bit about, uh, I broke a, a foot switch on my Strymon, like extremely expensive pedals with extremely cheap, like plastic pots and really the, the switch that was on here was really cheap. So, uh, if you want to have Strymon fix it, you can send it to them and for like a flat rate of like a hundred bucks plus you pay shipping, they'll fix whatever. So if your board's fried or something, send it to Strymon. But this right here, this is a, just like something fell on it and the switch just popped out. So I'm not going to spend a hundred bucks to have a switch replaced. So if you go to mammothelectronics.com, uh, you can get one of these. This is a single pull, single throw, soft touch, really quiet, clicky, uh, momentary foot switch. And that's direct replacement. So I got two since I'm already going to be ripping this thing open. And it is two lugs. Doesn't even matter what orientation your wires are in. Um, so I'm gonna once I get this cracked open, I'll show you what like which two wires it is because I mean it's easy and you just unsolder them or you could uh, well no it'd be easy to unsolder them. So I'll just show you whenever I get it all cracked open. Here's the inside of your pedal. Mine's blue sky. And you can see the switch. Um, I probably I can probably get that out of there without messing around too much with everything else. But you see, there's just a red wire right there, and then it, I believe a black wire on the other side. Um, that's all there is. It doesn't even matter which side it's on. So I'm going to pull them out and all I'm going to do is just cut the wire right there, like right where it's connecting to the terminal. And then I'm going to restrip it back and then just solder it right back to the new switches. All right, here's the broken switch. Those are the two wires you need. That's it. So I'm just going to cut them and redo Boom, them. new switch. That's all there is to it. The only thing I'll give you that's like a heads up is like, this is super sensitive stuff. So just keep your soldering iron a good distance away. Should be good to go. Boom. And they're so quiet. 